10 unsettling submarine discoveries caught on camera. Wow, we really got... Oh, and there's a whole human behind it. Wait, it's not an AI. It's an actual human being who said this. No way. The thumbnail's Helicorpion, and we've got an actual face to make fun of. It's not just an AI fucking paid Fiverr guy to say things. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Here are the top yeah. 10 unsettling submarine discoveries caught on camera. Okay. We're going deep again. Let's do it. All and right. Let's number 10, Fangtooth. A nice scary name off the hop. There's nice no way one. they caught a... This first deep well, sea discovery comes from the fine researcher... Is, is a deep sea submersible considered a submarine? These guys have a special little pocket in the roof of their mouths, which are used to store their teeth so they actually, you know, close their mouths. In case you're wondering, you know, how it's so big and all. They store them. They have a trunk for their teeth. That's so alien. Why are fish so alien? The fang tooth has been described by the Ambari team as a face only a mother could love. That's... What? A roast what? I think fang teeth are kind of cute. I don't dislike fang teeth. Fang tooths. Yeah, basically everything that has a large tooth has that. Your dogs have that. If you have a dog with large canines, it has that little pocket in its lip, in its lip as well that the teeth go into. Basically yes, everything has that. Ice. These guys hunt just by bumping into their prey. They sense vibrations and movements in the water, just like Daredevil. Number nine. They sense vibrations. Hmm, sounds like a lateral line system. Sounds like something that almost every fish in the world has. That's my favorite thing about a lot of these videos is they give cool fish facts and it's always like they're covered in mucus or they have scales or they have a lateral line system. It's like things that every fish has. Oh, they have a swim bladder. Things that every fish has ever that are just being presented as these random things. Grand Rojo jellyfish. The species was originally called Big Ugly, which again, <laughs> unnecessary roast for a deep sea fish. Let's just say Big Scary. Can we say Big Scary? That's better. Why does it have to be Big Ugly? Eventually, they landed on Big Red, which is nice. We'll, we'll take that. These jellyfish are the This guy seems so soulless. I feel bad for this guy. I feel like this guy wants to make it on YouTube and is just, like, doing whatever it takes, and that's fine, and I respect that, but, like, he feels... Like, his jokes don't feel like someone who's joking with me. His joke... His, like... They just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Better. These jellyfish are the largest of all sea jellies, obviously. They grow to around 76 centimeters in diameter, and they have four to seven arms, like thick, fleshy arms, rather than, you know, weak tentacles that we're used to seeing on jellyfish. Oh, they're so... I could be a jellyfish. It's like he's being held at gunpoint. That is the perfect description of what I was talking about. It doesn't feel like him and I are having a rapport. It feels like someone's holding him at gunpoint and saying, make the joke. If they don't laugh, you die. <laughs> Number eight. The barrel eye fish. Okay. This thing looks like an alien spaceship. I love this. Whatever fish this is, I want one. I'm kidding. Leave it. We should leave it. Two green alien eggs piloting a unsettling submarine discoveries caught on camera. I'm almost positive that none of these were found by submarines and instead were caught, you know, with bycatch or washed up on beaches and stuff. I don't actually know what fish that, you know, the EV Nautilus and stuff like that has discovered directly, but I don't think it's very many. It's big head is see-through. We can see anything on this guy's mind. Just a fish dome made of soft see-through tissue. We love that. They're unable to withstand change in pressure, so it's a good idea. Very it good looks idea. so sad. The they do look sad. The deep, you know, to see I don't them, think he knows drop. what alien means. Cause like, last time I checked, fish are from Earth. People do say that a lot. They look like aliens. I think it just means they don't look like something that you would expect to find on Earth. But there's something like that for everything. Every, like, vertebrate category and insects and stuff like that, too. If you think, like, oh, there's a fish. There's a fish that looks like a fucking, like, it does not belong here. There's a reptile that looks like it does not belong here. There's a mammal that looks like it does not belong here. There's some crazy shit out in the world that people don't realize. Species diversity is insane. Again, very alien-like. So sweet. Sweet booby. Number seven, the vampire squid. The vampire squid is the last surviving member of its order and has similarities with both the squid as well as the octopus. So basically, it's the most threatening animal I can imagine, honestly, and haunting to look at, of course. Also, also its name is vampire squid, so obviously something's afoot here. Obviously, it's a little bit dangerous. Two of these creatures somehow- nope, definitely not dangerous at all. Also doesn't suck your blood. I don't know why they went with vampire squid. It's kind of cute and harmless. The vampire squid is covered in light producing organs called photophores, which they're able to use in a way that produces disorienting light flashes, you know, to confuse its prey. Yeah, vampire disco attack. It'll just flash lights and dance in your face and they'll be like, oh, shh. While the vampire squid doesn't have ink to <laughs> Okay, that was the first tendons, actually good joke. The ability to shoot out a bioluminescent mucus. Glowy puke. That's almost definitely not unsettling. Definitely not a submarine discovery. I guess technically caught on camera, though. 
some part of the title is correct. Number six, predatory tunicate. The predatory tunicate is like the Venus flytrap of the deep sea. I feel like this guy Does would offer me drugs. Already. Predatory tunicate <laughs> is straight up... Pog. Tunicate pog. Dude, we need a tunicate pog emote. Someone flip this and crop it, and let's have Tunicate Pog. It just looks like an ostrich. Looks like something you'd fight in Super Mario Sunshine. How is that a real thing? What in the hell? They start <laughs> Pog. Life like tadpoles do. Then they swim until they find a perfect spot. Yeah, stream like, elements. Like, stream elements, holy shit. Stream elements randomly sends Pogs like every, I don't know, like every fucking two hours or so, and it just perfectly timed sent a bunch of Pogs. Once they found their spot, they plant themselves using a natural adhesive that they produce. Once planted, they will undergo a huge change. I haven't learned Clearly. a single thing about this tunicate. It just looks like a pog face. And unfortunately, if these guys do get moved from their location <laughs> and chose to make their home somewhere else, they will die. So it's imperative that we leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? Don't be poking anything in the ocean. Hit that thumbs up. Don't be hitting fish. They basically wait for food to drip Not a by, fish. And then just like a Venus flytrap, when they get their meal in their mouths, they're so far from a fish. Number five snapping shrimp i have to include a snapping shrimp because what? i always see these guys pop up on reddit when i'm scrolling through in the dead of the night and these guys will pop up and they'll haunt me this punch is so powerful that it creates a sonic boom underwater here's a clip of a mantis shrimp punching through a fisherman's gear okay mantis shrimps not the same thing as this but okay oh that really hurt he has no idea what he just pulled out of the depths of the sea this thing just punched through skin and gear those are not the like same that. thing and he's tiny the image the behind him is not a mantis a shrimp. Plug. So should the mantis shrimp miss that first punch? It's not, the sound you're talking about two different track. animals. Or if they're lucky, number four, a long arm squid. Ooh, long arm boys. Here we are. The big fin squid is not <laughs> often seen, and honestly, thank goodness for that because they're so, so terrifying. Magnapina, my right. beloved. While there's still a ton that remains a mystery about these elusive creatures, it's believed that they grow to be around 23 feet long. Yeah, they're really long. The real creepy stance that these guys have also. How they're so still, not a fan. So still and so large. Big forbidden deep sea spaghettis. This no is the thing. only one that I could see being somewhat unsettling. Everything else has been very not unsettling and very just a normal thing not discovered with a submarine. Thank you. Number three, giant isopods. Big Aww. note on these ones. Here we go. I can't do deep sea anything, so these what are did he say? giant isopods. Big nope on these ones. Here oh, we go. Big nope. I can't do these giant isopods. So scary. These large crustaceans can reach lengths around 15 inches. And while it's not the biggest, look at how sweet he is. Time, it's still pretty insane. Isn't it crazy that, you know, roly polies, pill bugs, whatever, are just chilling like under leaves around our houses. And yet they have like a, cl not close relative, but a relative that is just an absolute beast living in the bottom of the ocean. It's so sick, the diversity of isopods. For what? Giant isopods are scavengers, which usually wait to collect scraps of what is Look like at him. A He's just swimming. Meal. Why are you scared yeah, of him? They screw you over with their big, giant, many legs, and then just. Is it eating a dead on. crocodile? Two, deep sea anglerfish. And finally, number one, the Gulf of Mexico shipwreck. Yeah, I'm going to include a Gulf of Mexico shipwreck for number one because we've talked about so many Gulf of Mexico horrors. I saw a ghost ship as a kid, and that was it. I was scared forever, never going on a boat in the sea ever again. The Gulf of Mexico. We found a shipwreck with a submarine. Fair enough. This may be the only one that was actually discovered with a submarine. Video would cut out, sonar wouldn't work, so they sent the Navy out there. They sent a research sub as well, but the rover wasn't operational. The arms were too tiny as well, so they had no way of really taking a look into this thing and discovering it. That's for sure haunted. That's why I put it as number one. That is a literal graveyard. Doesn't matter if it's below the water. <laughs> okay, shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean. Scarier than an anglerfish. More unsettling than Magnapina and a bunch of other just totally normal deep sea fish. Nice. Water or above here. I wouldn't go into the woods and start exploring an area where like a plane crash happened. No chance. That's the same under the sea. Leave it alone. That's just bad juju. Those are shipwrecks. What are we doing? Those are the top 10 unsettling submarines. We're getting the gold. Obviously, the shipwrecks had the booty, the gold. We got to acquire that booty for ourselves. Whoa.